All right, guys, what's up? I just pulled up to this park in South, pretty sure it's South Central LA. Dan's just here. Nice and early, smoggy day in Los Angeles. I got called the N-word driving here today in the car. Like I pulled up to a set of lights and I looked to my left and there was this Tahoe and there was this Hispanic looking female and she had a bong in her hands and she was like, what? Obviously I can't say it, but she called me the N-word. And I, I don't know, that's a, that's a first for me. I'm kind of kind of shocked a little bit. different on the internet it was kind of way more blue but it looks like a cool little warm-up spot Dean's already started with the, the roll-on 50 50s no ollie baby no ollie so recently I had my board pinched from the back of my car at the front of my work I left my car unlocked but yeah I had to pick up a new setup if you guys haven't seen my last video go and watch it after this one I'll link it somewhere here but yeah it's my new setup I'm gonna try the aces pretty much the standard setup but with ace trucks so I'm keen to see how how they'll go <laughs> If you're asking for a front crook tutorial, I'm not teaching how to front crook tap the end of the ledge. We don't do that. We do front crook in the middle of the ledge. I could probably go to fakie, but that's fine. No, nope, you're going to go to regular. So all you do is you ride very, very parallel with the ledge. And you have your back, your front foot. Instead of like if you were normally going to ollie like this, you want your front foot to be more over here. Because uh, okay. when you shuffle that direction from a parallel ollie, it's going to make your foot go this way. And do not aim for putting your foot in this pocket as much as a little bit more on the nose and then the outside or the inside of your foot needs to be lined up with the pocket. I, I once, long time ago, back at Jane's Indoor, I had like, I could like tap them on the end. Yeah, we don't do but that. I felt like I was like... Like bonking it? I was kind of like... Oh, pinched all the way on top? Because where, where do you pinch? Toe side. Is that the correct pinch though? Yeah, toe side's what you want. Yeah. Yeah, that's what you want. You want to make just like that. We, we want your wheel to be pressing against your deck. Like that. Yeah, exactly like that. And then yeah, that's how you get out. Super easy. Start off going insanely slow and just stalling it. That's how you. That's the real secret to this trick. Insanely slow. Yeah, that was too fast. Like go like crawl. Like do not drop in. Just give it a baby push. More parallel. Yeah, more parallel. You, like you almost want to be like completely perpendicular. Why can't I get my nose? Just trying to get my nose over. Yeah, you're, not, you're stopping it with your front foot. You got to bring your front foot up higher. Uh. <laughs> Close. You weren't parallel enough. Yeah, so he said last time he was trying to figure this trick out at Vans. He was trying to go like front nose grind and then turn it to front crook. And that is like a long run. That's going to really hurt you because if you approach a round rail like that, you're dead. Like the second you lock in like that, it's over. So yeah, you want to learn it. Toe side pinch, very parallel. Sorry. 
just gotta really dig that foot in. And your body weight needs to be like, I don't know, like almost like a quarter foot off of the ledge. Like very on top, like closer to on top than way over here like a back crook, but you still need to be over here a little bit. There it is. Like I think that there's a lot of grinds, front five O's, front Smiths, front Feebles that I think are easier to figure out going fast. Front Crook is the one that like everyone I talk to, like Zach Dolling, like anyone's like, learn it going really slow because it's that an awkward pitch. Does it? Follow. Yeah, well, because you because you actually have to put your body weight really into it. If you go fast, you don't have enough weight on it. It's not realistic. You got it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that was such a good front crook. That was like picture perfect. Yeah, I don't teach people how to front crook off the end of the ledge. That's not a trick. Popping out early is the only way to do it. He's the skate thesis. Dude, so good. You did so well, too. Yeah, it's a, a lot of people see that trick and I think they think you like ollie just above it and you snap down real quick, but you literally let gravity stick yeah, you into the grind. Bending my knees, getting a good glide, then placing it down. But once it's down, it's kind of like you just hold it there and then give yeah. it a little nudge. Yeah, you don't stomp into see, People have the same problem with back tails. They'll ollie above it and try to smack in the back tail yeah. and it makes them stick. You just you just let gravity set you into the back okay. tail. Same thing with front crook. So like generally, I don't know how much percentage, probably like 60-70% of skateboarding is like you're in the back seat. But like this trick is like you're all the way forward. And yeah. Like sideways. So you gotta get like that mindset of being like in the front seat and being there. And that's the difference between crooked grinds and nose grinds. Like when you do a nose grind, you're balancing over the front truck, but you kind you're of are in fighting seat. in the back seat. Yeah. Uh, well, with back crooks and front crooks, are the, they're, those are the only two that you're really like leaning hard in. And even back crooks, a lot of times, you're sort of medium. Front yeah. crook, you are very heavy over front, so over the front. Like... Front nose slide is the other version of a trick that you're like really heavy, yeah. like leaning forward. First try, manual guy? You're the, the best skater truck. ever now. What happened? I don't know. I just moved board feeling. Best dude. Yeah. Worst Australian. It's been two weeks since I skated correctly. So. That's, it. That's what it is. If you don't skate correctly for two weeks, all of a sudden you just land everything. Yeah. First try again. That's, it's not too bad. I thought this manual pad was too low. It's probably too low for a nose manual. I reckon. I'll give it a go there. <laughs> oh, shove it out. Most manual dude. You gonna try to shove out? It out? You what? Is it lame though? Because the board kind of dropped out? No, you popped out. That was all right. As long as your back truck doesn't hit on the way out, it counts. All right. Tell you what. You try getting from where you're sitting to the front door, because I reckon I could shoot you from where you're sitting to the front door, because that's about as long as you've got to produce some money for me right now. I'll give you 20 seconds to produce some cash, or I'll fucking shoot you. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. What the fuck are you doing, mate? Jesus Christ, relax, he's not your enemy. Well, he fucking is now, isn't he?